his popularity. It's Ozark Nana's Cook Shack on TV. She got barbecues, awesome stews, desserts all the day. Just stay tuned, now don't you go away. Here's Ozark Nana's recipe today. Good morning, everyone. Now here comes Mr. Tibbs. He's coming to greet everybody. <laughs> At least me. But anyway, I want to greet you guys. Uh, it's Wednesday. And it's another beautiful day on Prayer Mountain. And uh, we're going to be, because it's so pretty, we're going to be doing our lunch at the tent. And uh, we're going to have uh, something a little different. We're going to have a fish fry. And uh, we normally have fish fries out here quite often. Um, during autumn assembly or 3BI. Some of you have been to some of our fish fries. But uh, anyway, normally we use the fish that we catch on Bull Shoals Lake. But uh, we've, you know, <laughs> we have not had the success that uh, we normally do. There's Faith, she says hello to everybody. But, uh, so we had to, we had to buy some, and it's not near as good, but Elaine and the crew are so good at frying fish that uh, it's not that, it's, it's, you know, everybody else will enjoy it. Okay. Uh-oh, somebody's behind me. Yeah, not really, but <laughs> there's Jackie. <laughs> He's one of the maintenance guys. Some of you might know him. But anyway, we're we're headed to the cook shack. Ozark Nana. And of course, you're going to um, see her helper Kath Judy there. I'm gonna say Kathy. I've been talking to a lady named Kathy all morning. <laughs> But uh, here we go. And hello. How you doing this morning? Okay. Great. Okay, so knocking on the door. She said, come in. Hi, Terry. Hey, Elaine. Hey, I was telling the uh, prayers and all the viewers that we're having fish today. Yes, we are. We're having a fish fry. We're going to practice up for autumn assembly. Uh, I was telling them how much fish I caught the other day, and that's why we're having it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> we bought it. All right. Well, what I'm going to do this morning or right now is some hush puppies to go along with our fish. Hush puppies. That, is that a name of a show or shoe? Uh, well, I don't know about that. There is a shoe, I believe, named that, but the hush puppy is kind of a breaded piece that goes along with fish real well. Oh. And it gets its name, and you probably never think of this, but in the olden days, they would throw them at people, I mean, at dogs, to shut the dogs up. Thus, hush puppy. Ah, oh. so when they were hunting or something. And the dogs would be barking or, or they... making noise they would throw a hush puppy at them. Someone said, well, you know, if they're eating, they can't bark. So well, maybe you're that right. was it. But anyway, that's where the hush puppy That's came interesting, from. okay. But anyway, I'm, I'm making two different kinds today, but we're only gonna make one right now. Um, I have already got prepared over on this side, hush puppies with jalapenos in it. Oh. And we do have a small group that likes that. And then we're gonna make the plain hush puppies also, so that those that don't like the spicier life still have something to eat. Hey, I like the jalapenos better. I knew you would. I'm making enough for you. Okay. So anyway, it's going to be three-fourths of a cup of flour. And I have my ingredients all measured out already. Okay, now how much here. is this going to make? How many hush puppies? Um, I 
think probably about a dozen, maybe 20. Okay. I, obviously, I've already doubled recipes. I've got enough over here for 12 recipes. Oh, okay. So. You're going to be but, busy. Yeah. You better get with it. Yeah. <laughs> and then three-fourths of a cup of, of cornmeal. Okay. You do even amounts of that so that it's uh, got the bread texture, but it's not all breading. It's got some corn in it. Mm. Then there is one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a, tea, a tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, one and a half uh, teaspoons of garlic powder, not salt, guys. Okay. You don't have too much salt in it. And also a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. And then uh, I put a half a teaspoon of, pe of paprika in it. Gives it a little kick. Okay. But it's not as spicy as those jalapenos are going to be. Oh, yeah. And then um, one egg and one cup of buttermilk. Now, if you don't have buttermilk in the house, you can make buttermilk out of your plain milk. Just put a cup of milk in a, in a cup or a bowl or whatever and put a teaspoon of vinegar in it. And what? it will curdle it and make it into buttermilk. That's what I did here. It's a little bit more in a cup, but you can see it's curdled. Wow, I'm learning something here. I never. I thought you were just say uh, put butter in it. No, no, no. Well, we're going to put butter in it, but that's not for that. So then I'm going to whisk up the dry ingredients and get them mixed together because then it will mix better when you put the liquid in. So now I always break my egg in a separate container so if any shells get in there, I can get it out before it gets in the mix and ruins everything. And I also like to whip it up a little bit just so that it's all mixed in. Sure. Then we're going to put that in the center of the bowl and a cup of that buttermilk. And then we're going to mix it all together. Okay. This is a really quick, easy recipe. And you want it to be thick. You don't want it to be runny because it's going to make like a ball. And then you're going to have... Um, like a roll. It'd, mm -hmm. it'd be a piece that would be solid. You don't want it to be runny. Now, here in the south, I consider us kind of more in the south than I right. do the north. We're right at the Arkansas-Missouri border, literally. Right. Literally. Literally. You have to go into Arkansas to come here, whether you want to or not, because part of the road's in Arkansas. Right. Right. So we, this is common with fish fries, hush puppies. Yes. But in the north, it may not be. That's true. They may not do that up there. So. This is just common here. Now, what I just added was uh, four tablespoons of butter. I cut them up into little squares because it makes it easier to get it mixed in and mm -hmm. round good. I let it sit out and get room temperature after I cut it up so that it'd be smooth and easy to blend into the mix. Oh, yeah. And then you just... I use arm muscles yeah. with my whip. You can use a mixer if it's better for you. That's totally up to you, but I think it makes it too uh, well mixed in okay. when you use a mixer. We're the Ozarks, guys. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I just like doing my Yeah, my well, whip. you're Ozark Nana, right? That's right. So. so now we've got it ready. So let's go outside. Okay. We're gonna test I'll out the fire you. and see for sure where we're at on it. How do you like my professional camera work I'm doing here? Yeah. I like <laughs> now I think I think the editors won't like it, but <laughs> I, I'll I'll survive. It's nice and cool out here today, isn't it? Yeah. Uh oh, she's laying down on the job. <laughs> I thought she threw her in jail. Out, but she came back. Uh, Cook Shack Nana did a men's retreat breakfast out here, and she. I'm declaring um, helper abuse here. I got four jobs lined up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I was just talking about Faith, our dog. She's in trouble. She stole uh, some butter off the table at the men's retreat. Yeah, she did. Um, I guess she got out of jail. I don't know. Yeah, she's all right. But anyway, so, here. I like to use just a little scooper, and I'm doing little ones 
to start off with. Now, how do you know when that grease is right? Well, I see it bubbling, so I know it's right. Say, you can see over here before I came. Shimmering. I'm not sure it'll show it's sim shimmering. You can see how you can see that it's I hot. think I can see it. You can see how bit, that's coming up? Really if nothing else, you can put a little piece of bread in there. Yeah, or a, a french fry. Or a french fry, Katie, whatever you got. Yeah. You're doing what, Jenny? I turned that down because it turned way yeah, up. I can smell it really strong. Okay. Okay, there's Benny. He's keeping the, uh, hey Benny, he's keeping our uh, smoker. You know, we got third Saturday, God's Cafe, this weekend, don't we? Yes, we do. And I'll show you the temperature that you need when you smoke meat. I don't, oh, it's hard to read. But that's right at uh, 240 is what we're shooting for. And that gives it that smoky taste. Of course, you guys are familiar with our smoker. We really like this thing, don't we, Elaine? Yes, we do. And uh, Ben is keeping I it. I think I've told him before, but it has water trough in it, and that keeps the skin keeps it moist in there. Oh, okay. are you doing the water trough, Benny? Yeah, I yeah. do. Okay. They yeah, filled it up this morning. I watched it. Awesome. Oh, wow. There's faith. So, okay, back to this. I'm just dropping a whole bunch of them in here, and we'll didn't bring our spoon out. We'll now we got Dr. Time. Billy Brim um, here on the mountain. She hasn't been here in a month of Sundays. She hasn't been here since May. So she's so, been traveling all over the world. She really has. And she's going again this weekend to Guymon, Oklahoma which is out in the middle of the panhandle. Panhandle of Oklahoma. Yeah. You're going with her too. Yeah, right? I'm going with her. And uh, I guess we'll be back Monday night or something like that. Yeah. So I don't... But you can see how these are turning brown. Oh, those look so good. We're going to let them cook just a little bit longer. I'm going to run in here and get a spoon to dip them out with. Okay. Well, I'll talk to Judy while that's going on. Okay. <laughs> now, Judy, uh, she's, her family's from the Ozarks, several generations. Yeah, we came here uh, in the early 50s. Early 50s, okay. And uh, have you got any interesting uh, tales that you remember growing up in this part of the country that might be a little different for, from, say, someone that grew up in New York? <laughs> <laughs> Well, when I was in school, in high school, and I went to a one-room schoolhouse, and all of the neighboring families, kids all went, so there was like 19 kids. My sister and I were the only girls, and all the mothers took turns cooking. They had a little cook shack thing attached to the side of oh, the Oh, like room. us? We got a cook shack. Yeah. But ours was just, uh, it was a lean-to. <laughs> okay, okay. And then they had the little piece of wood cut out of the wall, and they would cook, and then they'd put the piece of wood down and stick the food on it, and us kids would come and get it. But um, <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Each mother would take a turn by the week to come in and cook for us. Okay. For well, there you go. A little taste of the Ozark history yep. there. Yep. You know, we might come to days again like that where we're going to have to help each other out, you know? Need to. Yep. Okay, here we go. She's bringing out the first batch. They took my uh, other part of Oh, you don't have the right tools. I don't have the piece that basket that lets me hook onto it, the basket will hook onto it, but I don't have that because they took it up for the fish fry part. So I got to come out of my gloves so I can put this in this basket and then I'll get some new gloves. Well, guys, you can tell this is a live show. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like you, right? Sometimes we don't have everything right there, right? Well, you know, you think if we were a little more professional, we'd make a checklist or something. But well, we've uh, got about three of them in the kitchen. Oh, we got three of them. Okay, okay. We we got plenty of checklists, guys. But uh, 
Now there's, a, there's, they say that's a sign of genius, being able to take something and, and make it work, even though you don't have the right tools. Okay. And if we were no, professional, people wouldn't watch us. Okay, so we gotta put them back in. So how many? You have to kind of play with to make sure you're not leaving them doughy. Because you don't want them to be doughy on the inside. No, that that's not good. So that's he, he took one and pulled it apart to see. And he's going to adjust the heat a little bit. Right. So um, you guys see how quick they're frying. They. It doesn't take too long. So, how many minutes do you think you have that first batch in? Not very long. No, about three minutes is all. So probably. Probably five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I gotta get some gloves. So uh, we might need a timer. Yep. So can we borrow your phone for a timer? Yeah. Awesome. When she drops that other batch, can you put a five-minute timer on it? And we're going to try to get the people know. Oh, she's got a timer. Looky here. Oh, well, done. Was that on the checklist? Awesome. Was that timer on the checklist? I bet it was. Absolutely. The thing about checklists, you need to check them. That's it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I'm giving you a hard time, Cook Shack, Nana. <laughs> If we did that. <laughs> that right. There you go. Oh, we can have fun, can't we? Yeah, we you got to laugh at yourself, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Uh, surely. Enjoy life, guys. It's not that long. It doesn't last no. that long. And if yeah. you make mistakes, don't get mad. Way too short. It's way too short. And uh, a lot of times, the hard times when we overcome a situation that's the favorite times of our life when we're we remembering things yeah that's true it is looking back when i was raising my kids and my husband and i were struggling at that time we were just young kids but that's my favorite yeah now. that's my mom's too when her and dad were just starting teenagers with kids and uh they were doing the same as you just trying to make it she looks back at and she's had a lot to, uh, a, a lot of blessings that the Lord has given her. But when she thinks back, that's her favorite memory. Favorite memory. So enjoy your life. You might be at that situation, but it doesn't mean you're going to stay. That's right. No. Just trust God. He's going to help you. And uh, if you don't know God and you don't know about his son, uh, we'll find out about him. Yes. And, I want uh, to meet my brother. Yeah. Awesome. Have he, a relationship with yeah, him. Yeah, have a relationship with him. And uh, Come here, Benny. All right, Benny. I just pulled it out. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's hot, I don't want to touch it. Uh-oh. He's going to test it out here. It's too hot. I can't too hot. It. He can't handle it. Yeah, it's, hot. it's a hot hush puppy. <laughs> so it's going to have to sit. Concept. I'm going to say it's hot. Yep. See if I can. Done. How can you tell? It's not dewy in the middle. Not doughy in the middle. Okay. Awesome. Let's know how it goes. Now, what color are they coming out at? Kind of a golden brown. Okay. So, um... We figured it out with the temperature we got here and the consistency of the dough, five minutes. Right. And you're going to have to do your own testing. Yeah. But that's what we got. And your, your grease may not be as hot as mine is. If you're doing it in a skillet on the stove, it's going to be different than this deep fryer. Mm -hmm. So you want to be careful to not pop it all over your kitchen for one thing when you put it in but also uh, don't burn yourself when you're getting it out i have a slotted spoon that i'm using and i used a scoop to dip it in there okay. that made it into a round ball that helps for yeah. time of how long to leave yeah. it in there yes so, 
If I used a bigger scoop, it would take longer because it'd be more dough. Well, let's encourage the people the next time you have a fish fry, throw this in. Yeah. Now, are you going to do the jalapenos or is it just a different recipe altogether? It's or? a different recipe altogether. And uh, we can do that another time. Right. And I can also put it out on the... Now, you're, you guys are going to see us fry fish here in a little bit. Yeah. We're not through with today. We're not through with We're today. We're having fried fish and hush puppies and cold slaw and uh, um, chicken salad. Chicken salad. I couldn't think of what. So we got so much to eat. And then we have a applesauce spice cake. And besides that, you're cooking for our God's Cafe, our outreach, where we go on the streets. And uh, offer a free meal for people that just flat don't have the money exactly. on budgets. Might not have a hot meal that day. No. Or all month long, except when we come out. Yeah, and we we feed a lot of people that they're doing laundry at the laundromat, and sometimes there's just not enough money to get anything. Right. Well, we had one guy a couple of times back tell us that. It really helped him and his family. I think there were three children. Okay. And they were doing the laundry. And he said, after I do the laundry for this many for a whole week, I didn't have any money left to go get them something to eat. So you guys really helped us by being able to bless us with this food. There so you are. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's why we're here in it. Yes, it is. That's right. That is it. Okay, so now I've got the big batch ready to cook. And we're going to put it on just a little bit at a time. So, yeah, so there she goes. And I'm telling you, we had some of these, and Elaine, they're delicious. They're crunchy on the outside. She got it figured out. She took her checklist, guys. Got her timer. And she set it for five minutes. Now, did you use that timer and tell the truth? On the earlier batch? No, I did not because we had started cooking them before I oh, gotcha. was timing. So we kind of wanted to see how long it was going to take for this batch of dough before we started timing. Now, can I say, even if you got a checklist, don't worry about it. If you, didn't, <laughs> if you forgot it, you can make it work. Well, yeah, you can make it work. <laughs> Oh, I'm giving you a hard I'm, time, Cook I'm Shack Nana. I'm kind of a checklist person, though. I, I am, too. I have a checklist for my checklist. Now, I know somebody that's not a checklist person, person, and they made dessert. Yes, and she made a good dessert. Okay, let's talk to her about that dessert. Let's do. And this is what you do when you've got a yellow cake mix, but you're tired of yellow cake mix. You can add different things to it and change the whole thing into an applesauce spice. And we Interesting. Took, took a yellow cake mix and we added some applesauce and some ginger and cinnamon and nutmeg and some allspice and mix it all up together with, with whatever you need for your cake mix and cook it. And it turns out not a light fluffy cake, but a denser, almost like a baked pudding. Oh. So it's a applesauce spice baked pudding. And then we put cream cheese frosting on the top you just changed your whole old yellow cake mix into something totally different. Now, where did you come up with that? Just made it up. <laughs> I did. <laughs> did I you, to, you didn't have a checklist, did you? No, I didn't, but I used to cook a lot for a group that I, I owned a nursing home, and they always wanted dessert. Dessert was always had to have a dessert. So you get tired of doing the same old thing all the time, so you have to kind of there you go. invent new ways. Well, that's awesome. That's perfect for our show, doing different stuff. So anyway, uh, we'll get the recipe up there if you're interested. And uh, now remember, uh, Cook Shack Nana, we've got a contest going on, or we should have. Right, we started it last week. Need everybody to send their favorite recipe for a dessert in. And towards Autumn Assembly, we'll have more information on it, but we'll be giving uh, the person that wins the contest will get to spend a weekend here on property in one of the cabins and make their video uh, dessert on video with me. 
and even if you don't cook and, and, and maybe you're at the age where you don't do that anymore, we'll do it for you. That's right. You can sit here and watch me make yeah. the recipe. That and be a uh, Look because how and golden these are turning out. I'm telling you that you're not gonna believe how delicious these are. They're crunchy on the outside and they're moist on the inside. And they're not doughy, they're done. So that's going to go with our fried fish. Yeah, it's going to be good. Well, thank you, ladies, and thank you for sharing your recipe on your uh, cake. And we'll flash that recipe up, so be sure and write that one down. I will. Okay. I will get that for you. We're feeding prayers today, who we love. Yes. And they help us. That's right. The corporate prayer is powerful, yes. and we pray a lot for our nation here. That's what we do at Prayer Mountain. And so I'll pick up with you ladies when you fry fish. Okay. Okay. We'll up at the mount at the other building. Okay. Bye. We're back on video and uh, they kind of caught us unprepared, but we're uh, dropping fish. We got to get the oil just right. And we don't like to serve fish uh, when it's been under a heat lamp or anything. We like it fresh. So everybody's having to go get their salad bar. And then they can come back and get their fish. Yeah. Here's one of our fish fryers. What's the trick in making good fish? Make sure it's done. <laughs> but what, what's that? Not overloading it? Yep. So you don't want to put too much fish to drop the oil. And uh, because that way, your hot fish. if you do that, the oil will absorb into the fish. But if you got the oil right, it won't do it. So anyway, I kind of got to get out of here. But quick shack. Hey, Ozark Nana, what do you think? It's getting busy. It's getting busy. <laughs> I noticed you got your fish fryers going. Yeah, we're frying fish. We didn't get started quite on time. No, I know because it. Because you never can tell when she's going to stop. But we've got everything else sitting up and ready. And it's a big crowd. Big crowd. I'll let you get to work. There you go. So, uh, anyway, we'll say adios, everyone. And uh, we appreciate you and love you. And, uh, again, come out and visit us. And don't forget to send in those uh, dessert recipes. There she is, Dr. Billy Brim. Hey, ma'am, you're going to have to go at the end of the line. I've noticed women do wear hats. <laughs> <laughs> I told you they do. I don't know what she said. I just said she had to go to the end of the line. Can you tell her to go to the end of the line? No? Okay. Anyway. Yeah, this is the cooking show. Well, hello everybody. We welcome you to come on out here on Wednesdays. And you can partake of, yeah. this, of these great things that the cooking show people make. Sure. They're kind of wild. They're always working. Yeah, go ahead, ma'am. Yeah. They may not eat catfish where you're from, but we Yeah, she said, like yeah, it's those Arkin meal, catfish. And I'm 85 years old in December and hadn't hurt me yet. 85 years old in December, still going. Hadn't hurt me yet. Hadn't hurt her yet. I have catfish all the time. Where is I don't doubt it, not one whip. Oh, down there. And, I uh, do not doubt it, one whip. She's she's still traveling. She's going to Guymon, Oklahoma, this weekend. I travel. I'm probably going to live till Jesus comes. Yeah. There you have it. She is. She's going up. Anyway, it's Dr. Billy Brian. She is the founding person. <laughs> Turn God, a prayer mountain in the Ozarks. Uh, 